In this lesson, we'll discuss a couple of additional ways to expand your Flowgramming Toolkit by leveraging API endpoints. In other words, you can use the API Endpoint Event card to create a flow that can be triggered by an outside source. Unlike flows that start with application-associated events, flows using the API Endpoint Event card can be triggered at any time by any application that properly authenticates and connects to that endpoint. There are multiple ways to work with API endpoints, such as within your organization, across different organizations, or from other systems. This greatly expands the potential use cases flow grammars can implement. For example, you could send error messages to a central system of record for review, call flows across organizations and from different folders, have third-party applications call a flow, and much, much more. Here's a more specific example. If you wanted to automatically report errors when they occur, you can create a flow with the API endpoint event card that sends error messages to the appropriate destinations, such as a support email address or Slack channel. Then you can create a framework for your cloud applications that connects to this endpoint and supplies the error. Now let's go over how the API endpoint event card works. To access this card, click on Add Event, and then choose API Endpoint. This will open the API Endpoint card. To configure an endpoint, you then click the code tag symbol that you'll find on the bottom right side. You can expose this API Endpoint in two ways. First, your API Endpoint can act as a webhook that will only permit access if the client requesting access is making an invoke, resume, or retry request and has provided the required authentication credentials. These credentials include the API Endpoint's proper client token and the URL invoking it. Second, your API Endpoint can be established as a public service endpoint that's available to anyone with the invocation URL. Naturally, the first method is more secure. Now you know how the API Endpoint card can be used to trigger flows in unique and powerful ways. In the next lesson, we'll look at how you can call an API directly from your flow.